Love can make us joyful, obsessive, sometimes sick. And addictive drugs do, well, the same. But why is love such a powerful drug? Love and addictive drugs share the same progression. The initial euphoric honeymoon period, a drawn out stage of constant usage, gradually building up a tolerance, and finally the breakup and going cold turkey. But why would your brain treat your lover like a line of cocaine? Well, your brain has a system for rewarding you for the good things that happen to you. It's a network of areas of your simpler midbrain and your more complicated frontal lobes. The reward system communicates via the chemical dopamine. The dopamine is released to signal to the rest of the brain that something good has happened to you. Drugs hijack dopamine, and they turbocharge the feeling of reward. But when they wear off, you're left craving another dopamine hit. That's the basis of addiction, and different drugs drive the reward system in different ways. Some directly, some through the release of chemicals like serotonin, oxytocin, and opioids. But love hits all of those pathways at the same time. Social contact, physical intimacy, and the promise of sex all directly stimulate an increase in dopamine. Looking into each other's eyes, hugging, and orgasm, release oxytocin from the hypothalamus, which indirectly stimulates the reward pathway, and it makes those rewarding feelings specific to that one special person. Love also releases serotonin and opioids, the active ingredient in heroin. It's a perfect storm, and by the end of it, you are completely addicted to someone rather than something. So it's no wonder that when you finally fall out of love and all those chemicals stop coursing around your system, the come down can be hard. And to make matters worse, now is when your brain starts releasing stress hormones that can make you sick and make you crave what you've lost. But there is a silver lining. Oxytocin, the same chemical that supersized the love storm, is here to help. Oxytocin is also released during social contact with your friends and people that you care about. Which is why support from your friends and from other groups has been shown to help recovering addicts. And maybe broken hearted exes. For Inside Science TV, I'm Ali Jennings. Thanks for watching.